2014 it was a good growing condition. Uh, it wasn't as hot as it's been, but uh, between the extra rainfall and the amount of sun we did get and temperatures, we have, we have a good crop. It should be a quick harvest now that we've gotten started. Usually what slows down a cotton harvest is if you're making more cotton, it's just a little slower. So it's okay to, to add an extra day or two a week if, if you're making good cotton. This field we're standing in was a one-ton field last year, and uh, I have to say this 1740 looks looks pretty good for, compared to last year, so we're hopeful about this one. We also plant 2011 and two new ones, 1830 and uh, 1320. We stripped the 1830. It went in the loan at 5712, I think the highest grade we've ever achieved. The 1320, really nice storm-proof type cotton. This year, like the last several years, we've been 100% Fiber Max. We like the, the research that they're putting together for us and then the varieties that are coming out of it, bred for West Texas. Since they, they came into our part of the world, they listened to what we needed. They're very open to suggestions. And when we talk about needing a, a better mic in varieties, they went to work on it. As Fiber Max continued to, to bring things to us, we were able to work constantly on getting the yield and the quality in the same package. Growing cotton in Hartley County is uh, definitely a challenge. It's good country. It'll grow very good cotton crops as well as many other commodities. You can grow good cotton here without doing it the way we do. We're comfortable with 15-inch row cotton. We've been doing it since 1994. Last year we converted a 7760 John Deere cotton picker to a broadcast stripper head so we could strip our kind of cotton up here. We keep it short so we can get it harvested quicker. It's really revolutionized what we can do during harvest. The round modules, we can cut our freight in half. We gin our cotton in about 130 miles south of here, so it's very beneficial. It's really changed our, our world. How, how many acres of cotton we, we can grow and, and do so efficiently is increasing. We're at the point now of evaluating the equipment, trying to decide how many acres we want to trust to one machine getting out in a reasonable manner during our harvest window. We found out this year that uh, cold weather affects the way those machines operate with the wrap. So that's, that's been a challenge, but we're, we're working through it and praying for warm weather. <laughs> the one uh, harvest machine, instead of all the bold buggies and module builders, is you, you kind of get guys, well, I can run it tonight. I can go all night. We can cover a lot of ground and, and keep people from getting worn out. I usually get the late shift for some reason, and my brother or someone gets the early shift, but. We'll, we'll get everybody a shot at this. <laughs> There's plenty of cotton to go around. Looking at a nice open white field of cotton is, is very rewarding. Harvest time is just a wonderful time of year. It's a time that I wish never stopped.